Hey guys, on today's episode, we're going to go back down and look at some more of the Mission Darkness Faraday bags. This time we've got a duffel bag made by them that I think is going to be a fantastic addition to your ham radio gear to protect it from things like solar flares and other stuff. So without further ado, let's get downstairs and get to it. That's right here, right now on Ham Radio for Non-Techies. All right, guys, welcome back to Ham Radio for Non-Techies, where we try to simplify the ham radio hobby to get you to study for and pass your tests. You can get on the air and enjoy this hobby as much as we do as quickly as possible with the least amount of screw-ups and problems and stress. Anyway, today is all about the Mission Darkness Faraday X2 duffel bag. So I got this in the mail from them. I went down, looked at all their, their products. We did that other video on the uh, smaller bag about a week and a half ago, and it's great for small items, but I wanted something to protect the bigger stuff that we have, the gear that we carry as ham operators, the, the money we spend on these radios and all the accessories and this and that goes and racks up into the thousands really, really quickly. So I wanted to make sure I had something that I could put all my gear in to protect it in case of an issue or a problem. Now they sent over their catalog to me and the catalog here, a couple things uh, struck me uh, as very interesting. Uh, this is of course for law enforcement, military, forensic, uh, government executive travel protection, uh, secure facilities, uh, military clandestine operations. It's got a lot of other stuff on there. The two main things I was kind of interested in was the anti-hacking, anti-tracking, and anti-spying uh, assurance, and also the EMP or electromagnetic pulse, coronal mass ejection, and solar flare protection. Those are the three main things we need to worry about as hams with our equipment. And you guys know that if a so massive solar flare hit the planet and your stuff's sitting out there exposed, it's all bye-bye. Now, I'm not gonna go through testing this bag out. We did that when we tested out the little small pouch before. If you haven't gone, if you haven't seen that video, please go back and check it out. I'll have that linked here or here or here, somewhere around here, but check out that. The bags are made to block RF signals, EMPs and everything else, and they do work. We did a full test and we did, when we did the uh, smaller pouch here, we did a full test on that and proved that this bag is actually effective and does everything that they say it does. So aside from going off and buying an extended warranty on your equipment, I think this is the best extended warranty you could possibly get your hands on. This is a padded duffel bag. It's, got a, it's a good size. It's got quite a bit of options with it. So we're going to go over those right now. Uh, one of the things you get with this is a removable strap for a shoulder strap for easy carrying. The front of the bag, you get an additional uh, Faraday bag that comes off. It's in a Molly system, and you can uh, it has held together by Velcro. Open the bag up like that, and if you wanted to take your uh, your HT, for instance, we did this before. So if you want to protect one of your HTs, you just throw that in the bag along with your cell phone. If I had it, but unfortunately I'm filming with it at the moment, but that would allow you to protect that gear. And you just fold it up. Make sure it's Velcroed in there nice and securely, and then zip up your investment. So that's on the front of the bag. That, that little pouch, I think, is an added extra. If you needed to take this thing off, it pops off with the, has little, you know, like I said, it's a Molly, uh, Molly style bag. So you can just pop these straps off, put it on a belt, or just carry it on the go if you had to. On the other side of the bag, you get a little pocket inside of here for little accessories or cards or wallet, whatever you want to carry in there. And you also get this little tiny window pocket here where if you're you know doing other stuff you can put like uh, IDs or where you want it in there to kind of keep that stuff stowed away but the main compartment of the bag and this is the main main uh, star of the show is going to be the Faraday bag itself so in the bag itself when you open it up it's got a really really cool system that they did with this so you open the bag up and you have you're presented with another section here what this is is a magnetic lock that locks the bag up. So there's magnets down, I guess, inside of here and something in here that, that, mag that makes it magnetized. You hear that? So that gets magnetized and you open this up and there's all your gear. So if you look inside there, I've got quite a bit of stuff in there. So what did I, what did I decide to put into my bag? Well, the most important things I would think you'd want to have is to protect the radio itself, Maybe have a some kind of an analyzer if you need to do if you need to, you know say you had to build an antenna on the fly, 
uh, I'd have an analyzer in there. Of course, your microphone and power accessories and probably some sort of a power source. Now for this particular setup, I chose to use my BioNO 20 amp hour battery. It does have some circuitry in here that I wanna have protected in case of an EMP or some other kind of issue. So I've got that in here. I also have my rig expert. Gotta have that, right? We're in the no tuner club here, guys, no tuners. And then I would probably have my microphone and my power cable for the 7300 along with maybe a couple of antennas. You can, you can fit quite a few little antennas like this in there if you wanted to have some. This is the uh, Chameleon Lightweight N-Fed Sloper. I just put it in there for an example. But then the final star of the show that's in the bag here is my 7300. Now, if you watched my video the other day when I was talking about my top, uh, my top HF rigs for first timers, this was one of the radios that I had in there. And I was talking about these portable zero rails for that. So it's a very good way to protect your investment, especially if it's gonna be in a duffel bag like that. And just as added protection, I put this across the front, maybe put something a little bit bigger across the front to protect your knobs. So you don't have those getting bent up or broken. That'd be a very, very useful and wise thing to have. So we'll go ahead and get this back into the bag here. And like I said, you get, a, you get quite a bit of room uh, in here and you have to really decide what it is you want to carry um, inside this bag. I think that uh, putting in the battery, you know, say it's the EMP situation or something like that happens or EMP kind of basically fries everything, uh, you want to make sure you have the gear you need to be protected. So whether you just decide to choose with going with some kind of a battery backup or battery power supply, or if you're going to use something larger like this Diamond GZ4000 power supply, you could probably fit those two items in this bag, or you can fit the radio and one of these in there. I'd probably suggest, because this bag does not have, if you look inside, I mean, it's just, you know, it's, it's a bag. But you'd probably want to have some sort of a piece of uh, uh, foam across the top here, so if your battery's sitting on top, it's not sliding around or bumping and, and scratching up your radio. Uh, so I maybe have some kind of a, a feature or something in there to keep that all protected. But this will hold quite a bit of gear and protect you from EMP, solar flares, and coronal mass ejections, or mass coronal, whatever it's called. I don't think you can go wrong with this. I think that for the amount of money that they charge for one of these, I think you'd be very wise to have one if you want to really protect your gear and protect your equipment. And look, guys, I don't, I'm not trying to get political here whatsoever, but we know what's going on in the world. Unless you live under a rock, you know that things are not normal. And at any point in time, something could happen where an EMP goes off. And if you're not ready for it, then you just lost however many thousands of dollars you spent on your equipment because you didn't spend a couple hundred bucks on a decent little protection plan for your bat, for your, uh, your gear. Um, so with that being said, they do have other things out there. If you're going to go the battery route, if you're going to do a battery route, you have to have a way to recharge this, right? So they also mission darkness, <laughs> sorry about that. Mission darkness does carry a whole line of products. You can go look at their website. I'll have the links down below in the description, but one of the other big things they've got for uh, that hams could use is they have a solar panel pouch that'll protect your solar panels. There might be space inside of there to put a solar charge controller, or maybe you can probably just hide it in one of these bags. But having that equipment protected and uh, secured, I think is very important to, to, for, for us to have for our, for our gear. I mean, it's just, it's just common sense, guys. It's just literally common sense. Um, they do carry a lot of other things, but when I talked to them, I looked at all the gear that they carry and all the products they carry, the duffel bags seem to make the most sense. And even now, I think that with the size of the gear, and I, I use the 7300s, it's, it's a little bit bigger than the 991. It's still, you know, decent. About, we, we're trying to find something that'll fit, one size fits all. Uh, so I did talk to them a little bit about possibly coming up with something that might be a little more compartmentalized. So we can slide your, your, your uh, HF radio in one place, have a place put in you know, a, uh, a uh, power supply, like a linear power supply or, or switching power supply, and also have room for a battery. Because you never know what type of situation you're gonna have for getting power. If the power comes back on and you have a way to plug things back in, then great, this is a fantastic option. 
If that doesn't happen though, you're going to want a backup and a battery like this is going to serve you well. Um, so I would highly advise you to go check out their website. Again, links down below. If you use my coupon code HR4NT, and that'll be down below as well, you'll get 5% off the price of whatever you choose to purchase from them. These guys are the real deal. They have proven themselves to me to be a quality company that stands behind their product. They believe in their product. And I'm hoping that hopefully, you know, somewhere down the road, we'll be able to work with them and maybe come up with some sort of another solution that'll be more ham radio centric if I can get enough people involved and enough people uh, interested in their products. So if you guys like these things, definitely go check them out. Definitely grab one of these duffel bags or at the very least, you know, grab uh, grab one of the little, uh, the little tiny bag that I did, the, the little pouch I did the uh, video on the other day. Just protect some of your smaller gear. It's just a smart investment. It's a good investment and you know, you really, you're not going to have you're not going to have problems with this. It's going to work out for you, no matter how you uh, no matter how you slice it. So anyway, we're just going to get that all put back, like so. And it's all nice and ready to roll. We'll grab our zipper, and that guys. I think is a great solution for protecting your gear. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. That'll help the YouTube algorithm show my video to more people that might be interested in this kind of gear or into ham radio in general. And I'd like to ask you, if you have not already, to please subscribe to the channel. I try to put out videos on a regular basis. This is one of the last videos of 2021 until I get some more uh, ideas coming in and get some more stuff shot. But I want to make sure that I'm bringing you guys value. You take your time to watch my videos, listen to me spiel about all kinds of stuff. The least I can do is bring you guys some great videos and some good entertainment and some great information to help you along in the ham radio hobby. Until then, guys, this is Ham Radio for Non-Techies. Have a great day. Stay safe. Have a great week. And we are clear.